Okay, we'll start with an opening statement from Coach Musselman, and we'll take questions. Got to do a uh, much better job taking care of the basketball, give Memphis a lot of credit uh, for their aggressiveness, um, you know, defensively jumping in passing lanes and, um, you know, end of the first half cost us, I thought cost us the game. We did close the end of the first half, you know, turn the ball over to ended up in a three. And uh, obviously the 18 turnovers is, you know, you're not going to win many basketball games uh, turning the ball over that much. Coach, what was what were the challenges with David Jones, and what's the level of concern with guards getting loose the last couple of nights? Well, he's a great player. Uh, creates mismatch problems because he can play so many different positions. I'm sure it was a career night for him. Um, so you know, we we're, we've been pretty good guarding certain people. Uh, tonight we were really poor guarding him. Again, give him a ton of credit. He, I mean, his efficiency was through the roof um, from three the field free throws across the board. Um, I can't remember a player that scored 36 points against us. Coach, just, just curious your thoughts on how the team responded after the double overtime game yesterday. Uh, did you think fatigue played a factor down the stretch? And what do you think about their ability to kind of chip away at the end? I mean, I would say, Curtis, that if it was a, you know, if it was both, both teams played last night and it's 42-42 in the second half, we gave up five points off technicals. That cost, I mean, five points, it's, I mean, it's a five-point game. And and we we gave that up on technicals. And like I said, that was a disastrous end of the first half. Um, and so you take the technicals in the end of the first half, and I think that's that's the ball game. And then how important is it to to turn the page here on, on a short turnaround? I know it's a, a third-place game and there's disappointment in the loss, but you, you get to play a team like North Carolina, a potential you know, NCAA tournament matchup again. And we got a lot of stuff we got to get better at a lot. So, Coach, um, uh, first time that this that Arkansas and Memphis have played in almost twenty one years. Does this sort of, I mean, there's been some clamoring at least on on the Memphis side for renewing this rivalry. Does this sort of environment this night this this competitiveness that... i mean that's a tournament yeah <laughs> i don't know if anyone was at the villa nova unc game that was incredible uh environment here has been incredible for all the games i thought last night's game was a great atmosphere that we played in um do you see this i mean is i don't chance? do the schedule okay Coach, were there any commonalities or trends that you saw with the 18 turnovers tonight? Anything just stand out above? above? I think others? there's – I mean, Memphis is really aggressive defensively. Um, they gamble. They jump in passing lanes. They switch. And I thought they did a great job, and we didn't handle it. And um, so you have to give credit to their defense. Um, their defense was much better than our defense, and their offense was much better than our offense. And yet we're looking at a five-point game as I've mentioned, five technicals. Um, uh, Devo. Uh, you guys good with me? Yeah. Was the, the foul trouble late? Is that kind of, somebody asked this, but just kind of um, a product of your team withering away energy-wise after, you know, double overtime last night and after, you know, whatever, 15, 20 minutes of, of game time passing? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think that um, the way that the schedule has laid out for us, you know, just call it luck. Uh, we were the last ones into Nassau because of a five-hour delay. Um, we had the last practice time on day one that we all practiced here, which would have been Tuesday. We had the last practice time the day of the game, uh, which we couldn't even use because it was too close in our eyes to um, – and then we had the shortest turnaround coming off a, a double overtime game. So uh, to say that you would have a double overtime game and play at 730, our game, we didn't even get back to our hotel or into our rooms until about 1245 and we played at five. So I think it would naturally, it, I'm sure it affected my wife who was a spectator here, but there's no excuses when you come to this type of tournament, you roll with what the schedule says. So there's no excuses. Memphis beat us. So I want to be perfectly clear, all the credit 
to Memphis. They outplayed us. They beat us. He turned the basketball over. Um, having said that, I think if fatigue was a major issue, we would have seen a little bit different score in the second half. Um, and I think if there was five more minutes in the game, our team would have continued to play and compete. So I didn't think that that was a real issue. I thought the technicals hurt us bad, you know, and again, end of the first half. And I mean, nobody could guard a player on the other team. Nobody. I mean, he did whatever he wanted, um, which is what great players do. Doesn't matter what defensive scheme you go out and you have a hell of a game. And that's what he did. I don't expect anybody to have 36 against us. We usually do a really good job on, uh, on primary guys that we focus on. Obviously the way that Jones has played all year, he's a much improved three point shooter credit to Penny credit to their coaching staff. Um, Cause he has improved in that area uh, credit to the young man too. I'm sure he's worked a tremendous amount of time Um and he's a tough kid. I mean, he's a great offensive rebounder. He's a great defender. Um, he made a name for himself tonight, quite frankly. I mean, he he really did. I mean, he's there's a lot of scouts here and stuff. They're going to remember that performance because he played that good and he was that dominant on, on unbelievable efficiency. I didn't think he took one bad shot and he scored 35 points, 36. That's hard to do, score 36 and, not, and have unbelievable, impeccable shot selection. He had better shot selection than almost every guy on my team. Some some guys that, you know, I mean, he did. He kicked our butt. Uh, Eva, what were the challenges? I know Coach just spoke at length about the challenges with, with David Jones, but what, what was – your kind of opinion on what made him a, a tough cover tonight? Um, found he got to his spots and he was just making making his shots. So um, we was trying we was trying um different coverages, um not for just him but uh, but other guys because we was switching different matchups and stuff. Um, he just had a good game. Is there any concern with you that guards the last couple nights have gotten? loose on on you guys mm, like nah, score nights um not really i mean we we feel that um we pretty good at the defense i mean we work on it all, all the time um during practice um different schemes different coverages uh and, and we for sure scout our, our our teams um that we play against pretty well so um, there's no excuse so he just had had a good game um tonight Devo, you guys were in a, a similar position this time last year when you were in Maui. You, you lost the second game to Creighton, and you bounced back and, and beat San Diego State in overtime. Uh, I guess what is it going to take for you guys to to kind of relive that experience and have a similar showing this time? Mm -hmm. Just focus on North Carolina. Um, we know who we play now. And, um, start start scouting them tonight. We go. We got to turn around. Fast turn around tomorrow. So. Um, scout them and, and we're going to try to do as best as we can to contain uh, what they have on, that, on their end. And uh, we'll come tomorrow, try to play and win. Uh, Devo, I think you needed 14 points to get to 1,000 for your career, got to 15. Just thoughts on that, kind of what it means to you? Um, feels good, but I mean, we lost. So um, next game for me. Um, but, um, Thanks to thanks to God, uh, he was able to be able for me to be able to accomplish that. But got to win games. So, uh, last thing I've got: eighteen turnovers led to twenty-seven points for Memphis. Anything you can put your finger on with the with the miscues there and led to their runouts? Yeah, a um, few of them. Um, we we just got to be a little bit more tougher. Um, guys slapping and reaching on the opposite team, and and if we're not getting calls, then like I said, we got to be tougher and and. Um, some of the calls wasn't going our way. And so there therefore um we gotta look at it um at that and, and say we just gotta be tougher on our end. Thanks, Steve.